Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Pisces, your birthday's in a few months. I just wanted to give shout outs because I remember Monica Jeans is the 7th of March. Gabriella, yours is the 5th of March. Um, Ramona, yours is the 20th of March. And Jennifer, yours is St. Patrick's Day. Jennifer B. <laughs> yeah, I got that. I know, I did. So, okay, before we begin here today, I haven't done this in a while, and I figured I wanted to to do it, okay? So, I'm going to do it, okay? So, if you have a question that you would like me to answer, I will pick one random comment out of the comment section, one random question out of the comment section below... So type in your, your question right now if you want one answered. And I will pull one random person's question at Friday. I should write this down. On Friday at 3 p.m. Yeah, let me write this down here. Hold on a second here. Let's see. Friday at 3 p.m. Question. Question. Okay. Friday. This Friday, which is, uh, I don't know what this Friday is. Friday. Um, God, what is today? Let me look at the calendar here. I hope you're typing in your question here as I'm looking at my calendar. Sorry, I'm working this out. I should have had it better prepared, but it just kind of hit me. So, yeah, it'll be Friday the 3rd of November. Friday, November 3rd. And we will be pulling that at 3 p.m. So we'll just keep the threes, right? November 3rd at 3 p.m. I will answer one random person's question in the comment section below. So go ahead, drop your question now in the comment section, and I will pull that Friday. Yeah. So I'm going to slap down the holy water again. And then we're going to get into this reading, baby doll. Mm-hmm. So you know what time it is. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dawn, presiding. You can keep typing your question. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with or whatever energy is going to be towards you, my love. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, hit it, and quit it, baby. Yeah. Bailiff Louie is licking his belly very aggressively. <laughs> He's so cute. Petra thought he was my human baby when she first started watching the channel. <laughs> She's like, oh, it's a cat. <laughs> I love you, Petra. Tell your mom I said hi. Hi, Petra's mom. <laughs> Show! Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Three swords of pain. Squeezing my heart and the blood runs out of it. Blah. Show! Okay. Three of pentacles. Oh, boy. Okay, guys. November 3rd at 3 p.m., Right, I said November 3rd at 3 p.m. And answer your question. What do we got here? We got three swords, three pentacles. If another three comes out, you guys are going to have to finish this uh, this reading for me. Show! Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Nope. Okay, that's fine. That three did not come out. The overall energy for the reading here is temperance, okay? So, I don't, I'm feeling this like somebody sees you as an earth angel energy. Earth angel, earth angel, would you be mine? Uh, my love is good and I want you all the time. I'm just a fool, a fool for loving you. Your person, though, is like, oh, my heart is 
person's feeling three swords of pain for you right now. They're even squeezing their little tiny heart and they're like, oh, this hurts so much. So basically this person cares about you. So you know this person already. It's not some random Joe Schmo that walked up to you at the supermarket and said, uh, your outfit looks stupid on you. And you're like, oh, three swords of pain. No, you're like, your outfit looks stupid on you too, brother. Uh, you might not say that. I wouldn't say that. I just don't. I ignore people when they have negative stuff. I don't even interact. Because what do you, when you feed fire with fire, what does it create? A bigger fire. So I use my water energy to put out fires is what I do. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know I have a Mercury in Pisces, the planet of communication? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Obviously, you guys have already is, have a, a, an established energy between the two of you. We've got the Empress here on the table. Uh, she is the most high vibrational energy in the whole entire deck of tarot besides the uh, high priestess, okay? She radiates pure beauty, growth. She's the birther of all great things here, whether it's people or ideas here. She's very approachable, okay? And she is very intuitive here as well. So let's talk to those three swords because you know like a good sword fight here at Tally's Tarot. And so what's going on? Why is this person in so much pain? Why are they feeling three swords here? Why is this person feeling three swords here? Why, why, why are they feeling three swords? Okay. Okay. Because of the seven of swords. Oh, brother. Okay. So what did, what, what did they, they, I don't know. Maybe they think you put seven swords in them here or they, I don't know. But it's, uh, uh, it's kind of like, there was a hasty action and there was careless planning here is what's coming through here. So what was this careless planning and this hasty action that put this person in three swords? What was this careless planning and careless action that put this person in three swords? Yep. And what did they do? It is El Diablo No Bueno Pisces Royo Diablo. They were pan playing the flute. Do, 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 do. So they were trying to seduce you, okay? They were trying to seduce you here, and basically, it didn't work, and now what are they doing? They're thinking about it here. Oh, yeah. So what are they thinking about uh, this this devil energy? What are they thinking about now here with these eight swords for what they did to Pisces here? Yeah. This person needs to, they need to take, they're like, okay, well, I need to take the moral high ground right now, and I need to... Pause and reflect here upon what I have done here. So basically, this person has paused. They've re they're reflecting about what they did to you here, you know, with this seductive energy here. And that's why they're heartbroken because they didn't take the moral high ground to begin with. Instead, they, they used the, de they took the devil's route. Okay. Which is not the route you want to take because you're, that's not no bueno. No bueno. No bueno. Oh, hail to the now, to the now, now, now. Hail now, hail to the now, now, now. Yep, that's what they did. Well, that's good that this person is setting in it right now, okay? So, <clears throat> what's going on here with the Empress here? Let's talk to the Empress here. Let's talk to the Empress here. What's, what's, she, what's, she, what's, she, what's going on here? Don't tell me this is this person's energy. Show me the Empress. Why is she down here on the table? Why is this Empress down here on the table? Why is this Empress down here on the table? Why is this Empress down here on the table here? The Empress is here because of the Page of Pentacles here. Let me get one more on the Empress with the Page of Pentacles here, and then I will start talking. Empress with the Page of Pentacles here. Okay, and the Fool, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, boy, Pisces. I definitely feel like this Empress is definitely your energy here. So what this is telling me here is that this person, okay, they want to obtain starting something here with you with the Fool. This is what they want to do. All right, this person wants to be confident here and and basically, uh, you know, manifest their dreams here, okay, and obtain some kind of 
you know, goal here, which their goal is obviously to start something here with you, with the Fool card, all right? So where are they going with this Fool card here? Where are they going with this Fool card? Where are they going with this Fool card here? Where are they going? Yep, because that is just what they do. We got Lady Justice for the gavel bag. Thank you, Lady Justice here. Yep, because this is the right thing to do. This is the just thing to do. Not to do this... But let's get to know each other a little bit better. Because the Page of Pentacles is often, you know, somebody who's studying something new here. Okay? So now this person's like, okay, I, I need not to do the... Do -do 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 I need to be morally correct here. And take the moral high ground. Because I've thought about it here. And now this is their energy over here towards you. So they're going through the motions. It's like you're training a dog here, right? You got to train a dog. <laughs> so your dog's in training right now, okay? And it seems like you're doing a good job as a trainer here of training your puppy dog here. <laughs> okay, that's good energy. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. So, what's going on here? So, you guys have established something here. Where are we working towards with the Three of Pentacles? Where is this person wanting to work towards with the, the Three of Pentacles? Where are they wanting to work towards here with the Three of Pentacles? Where are they wanting to work towards here with the Three of Pentacles here? They're wanting to work towards love here. Mm -hmm. So, why are they wanting to work towards love here? Yeah, they're wanting to work towards love. Why, though? Why? Why, 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 why? That is your energy here. Why? Because... They have a lot of desire here for you. So they want to work towards love because they have desire here for you. So this person's willing to do the work at the end of the day, Pisces. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the final messages. And I may do one card for each sign. I don't know. You'll have to stick around and find out. Uh, what's the final messages here? What's the final... Yep, King Cups, Pisces. This person's definitely in love with you. And yeah, they fantasize about you. They do. What else do you want to say? Yep, and this person could see the potential here of having a long-term relationship here with you. All right, I'm going to do, you know, the little kitty boom booms. Okay, one card for each side. Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Pisces, sure, I felt you. Uh, they're climbing the walls, trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer, 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 cancer. Okay, I feel you too. Cancer is... I feel like Cancer's obsessed with you. You might be obsessed. You both might be obsessed with each other. Scorp! 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 Um... There's juggling here. There's a juggling energy here. And it's like, I feel like this person feels like a dunce. Okay, they put on a dunce hat. Okay, I don't know. That's just what's coming through. Uh, Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries here wants to start something new here with you. Uh, Leo. Leo. Sure, Leo. What's we got, Leo? That's on the ground. You guys are not talking. Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sure. Okay, Sagittarius is really hoping that you guys, that everything's going to work out between the two of you here. Um, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Sure. Libra is very much guarded against you right now, but they desire you. Uh, Gemini. Gemini, sure. Uh, Gemini is very burdened by the situation. Aquarius, just too much for them to do. Uh, Aquarius, you guys are not talking, and uh, they've got a lot of fears and insecurities here. Virgo. Virgo. Okay, Virgo thinks you're very attractive. Uh, Taurus. Sure, Taurus. You guys are not talking, and let's go Cappy. Cappy, Cappy, how do you feel about Pisces, Cap, Cap, Cap? Cap, 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 how do you feel about Pisces, Cap? Cap, Cap. Boy, Capricorn, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay. 
Capricorn finds you to be simply irresistible. <laughs> so, this has been your reading. Carol's adjourned.